You know it's good because he didn't have to close the throttle in the accident. He got the bike driving and he got the chance to drive it off the corner in one motion. Where was he off the brakes when he's happy with the speed and direction? You'll hear him come off, uh, and I don't know exactly where, but let's watch again. Let's see if we can locate it. Um, Chris, go ahead. Give us another good one, please. So his body is ready. His butt is to the left side already before he brakes. He sits up on the brakes to let everybody know he's braking. He goes to brakes, use them in the corner. Brakes are on. brakes right into here but everybody I want to be really clear that he didn't use the brakes to this first cone these cones are for direction he used the brakes to have to speed and direction hey Chris Chris we're watching you and you know um, we think you're using the brakes too long so um, when I drop my arm you got to get off the brakes when I drop my arm instructors will you move in a little bit um, when I drop my arm so Chris you got to use the brake and when I use drop my arm you got to get off the brakes because you're using the brakes too long he, and this is uh, this is sarcasm. Yes. He's got the sport backwards. He's got to get off the brakes and back to the throttle. So when I drop my arm, you just get off the brakes. <laughs> Everybody. Yeah. Going by tight and gradient. Yeah, I did. So if you're missing apexes, it could very well be you're off the brakes too soon. So look at that bike test steering, isn't it? Yeah. All that ride fast bikes, it's got to get pointed before you drive it. So if you're off the brakes early, it's done. The forks extend. The bike doesn't point very well. Now you're struggling, especially on a used tire, off the corner.